this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game with Rene Martin and Reino Niemi. This very beautiful chess game was played in Dubrovnik in 1950. And where is Dubrovnik? Dubrovnik is a Croatian city on the Adriatic coast, on the Adriatic Sea, in the region of Dalmatia. It is one of the most beautiful tourist destinations in the world. How do I know? Did I Google this? No, I've been there. Let's have a look at the game. Martin had white pieces and he started with e4. Niemi played e6. d4, French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, pinning the knight, unpinning white to move. Martna captured the knight on f6 with bishop. e5 is by far the most played move in this position. In our game we have bishop takes on f6. Bishop takes bishop. e5 attacking the bishop and gaining the space on the board. Bishop to e7. Queen to g4. Attacking the pawn on g7. Niemi castled kingside. Knight to f3. Knight to d7. White to move. Perhaps bishop to d3 comes to mind. Or maybe castling queenside. Martna played h4. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? Niemi played h6. You got to think twice before pushing the pawn in front of the castle king. c5 was much better. Okay, so you have h6, rook to h3, black to move. Niemi played g6, playing with fire, by pushing another pawn in front of the castle king. If he wanted to push the pawn in front of the castle king, then perhaps f5 would be a better try. In the game we have g6, bishop to d3, h5 attacking the queen, queen to f4, king to g7, white to move. Can you see a queen sacrifice in this position? No? If you can't, that's okay, because there is no queen sacrifice. Martna played g4, this is the best move. Rook to h8, white to move. Martna calmly castled queen side, and now white army is totally mobilized. And black is not using two of his pieces. Black to move, c5, finally. Rook to g1. Look at this concentration of white pieces against black ink. c takes on d4. White to move, what would you do? Perhaps first move that comes to mind is knight to e2, but this is not the best move. Because then black can play knight to c5 and get back in the game. So it is better than knight to e2. Martna played the best move. g takes on h5. Rook takes pawn. Is pawn takes knight better? Let's have a look. If d takes on c3, then bishop takes on g6. Perhaps pawn takes pawn check, king to b1, and black position is bad. Black would be struggling. And if he takes the bishop, and he would lose very quickly. For example, f takes on g6, rook takes 
on g6 check, king to h7, check, mate. So, Niemi, red rook, takes pawn on h5. Wait to move. How would you continue now? The knight on c3 is still on the attack. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Martha sacrificed the bishop on g6. Pawn takes bishop. White to move. Can you guess the move that white played? Did you see knight to e2? This is not the best move. This is not the move played in the game. White played the move and black resigned. The move is Rook takes on g6. Black resigned. One line goes like this. King takes Rook. Rook to g3 check. King to h7. Queen to f7 check. King to h8, Queen takes Rook, check, mate. This is a very interesting game, isn't it? Black was making instructive mistakes by pushing pawns in front of his castle king. It is always better if we learn from other people's mistakes, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.